Hello, my beautiful Virgos. I'm Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com uh, here to bring you your uh, monthly forecast for June 2019 for your career and finance. So it's all going to be about your career and finance. All right, so let's jump right in. So what's some general messages for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs June 2019 for their career and finance from the cards you need to see, from the cards you need to see. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing, by the way. I'm going to throw down all these cards. And then we're going to talk about after this uh, your blockages and your advice and what's going to be the potential outcome for this month for you guys. And also remember these are general messages. So they're not going to resonate with everyone. So check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. As well as you can always get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or checking out the description box below. So it looks like you have been waiting to gain some kind of perspective on your situation with the hangman situation. You're trying to see what's going to happen. It looks like the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, okay? You have this new opportunity here with the Ace of Wands that you feel really passionate about, that's very creative for you. You you really, really like it, okay? Um, so let me get some clarity on this, and we'll keep going. Why is the Hangman energy here? Why is the Hangman energy here? Why is the Hangman energy here? It's something to do with uh, taking away from something or something that's been worrying you with a mice card pertaining to uh, your situation, a person, uh, something that's close to home um, or in a building, okay? So why is the, and you have to ask about the word fortune because obviously that's the universe. So what is this Ace of Wands about? What's this Ace of Wands about? What's this Ace of Wands about? What's this Ace of Wands about? Something to do with some kind of burden that you've had with the cross card. Something you've been burdened with. Something that's kind of been like, you know, weighing on you. Um, something to do with someone who could be older or something old here. Maybe an older person. So some kind of burden of somebody who's older possibly. Or something to do with has been around for a long time. The lilies. Um, and now you're going to have some kind of change here, some kind of migration into a positive direction. So that's good. Okay, so what's going on below here? So you've been waiting and trying to gain perspective because you've been dealing with a lot of something to do with arguments or competition here, all right, with the Five of Wands energy. Um, and something is going to end here, some kind of transformational thing's going to happen here pertaining to your options and your choices. So definitely going to make some kind of decision here. Ten of Swords tells me you're going to come out of whatever pain that you've been going through. It's, it's going to end now. It's, it's over. It's coming to a completion for you guys. So why is the Five of Wands here? 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 This has to do with the fox, so this is a 9 to 5 job. So options pertaining to a 9 to 5 job, now you found something that you love, the heart card. And um, it could be because of a loyal friend, okay, because look at this. It could be someone that maybe that you love at your workplace as well, or somebody who, you know, you may have been in love with that helped you with this situation with making a choice, okay, that you love. That's possible too. Because the dog can represent a loyal friend. It represents loyalty. All right, why is the death card here? 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 It's something to do with a commitment. That's end it. And this has to do with messages, written messages, email or text messages and something pertaining to work. So some kind of commitment that you heard about via email, text messages uh, pertaining to work or something that's been hurtful to you is now ended. Okay, so why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Something to do with knowledge, knowing that's recognized, the Moon card, something to do with reputation pertaining to a crossroads that you had. So it's it's now ending, it's completing here. And you have knowledge of that. Okay, so now let's see what your blockages are here. Oh, 
What is Virgo's blockages to their career and finance June 2019? What's uh, Virgo's blockages to their career and finance for June 2019? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So uh, the magician represents um, an ideal situation or having all the tools you need to manifest what you need in this reality. That actually is a blockage here. Or are you taking control of this to manifest what you want yeah, because it looks like uh, the Knight of Pentacles is saying you're moving on something slowly. Knight of Pentacles. Uh, pertaining to walking away Eight of Cups energy. Okay, so it looks like you have all the tools you need, but it seems like you're taking your time uh, and walking away from something. You're, you're going very slowly. You're spending a lot of time contemplating about something. Okay, so now let's get some advice for you guys, and then we're going to find out what the going to be the uh, overall outcome for June is going to be for you all right, can I have some advice for my Virgos for their finance and career for June 2019? Can I have some advice for my Virgos for their finance and career for June 2019? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Hmm. It's saying you're deserving, Virgo, this month. You're de deserving. You are a beloved child of God like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that allows you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and angels can see just how amazing you truly are. Wow. it's great advice. So it's saying that you're deserving of this. So can I have some advice now for Virgos? I'm going to use the tarot. Can I have some advice now for Virgos for their finance and career for... Um, June 2019. So it looks like the burden is going to end pertaining to arguments, disputes, or something pertaining to work here. And you're going to get some kind of new opportunity and something is going to be uh, healed here with the six card, six of cups card. And yeah, definitely you're going to have a healing here, the judgment. So uh, Spirit is saying, don't worry, your burden is going to end. Things are going to heal. This is going to be a great opportunity for you. New opportunity is going to be healing. Um, it could be somebody from your past that could help you with this opportunity. But uh, judgment tells me that there's going to be healing and renewal here with the judgment card. And of course, Spirit said you are deserving of this. Okay, Virgo, you are deserving of this. So let's see what's going to be the potential outcome for you guys. So what's the potential outcome for Virgo, Sumner Rising, and Venus sign for their finance and career for June 2018? Show me the cards I need to see. 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 Okay, hold on. One of the cards wanted to flip, so let's do this again. What's going to be the potential outcome for Virgo's potential future for June 2019 for their career and finance? Show the cards you need to see. Show the cards you need to see. Okay, got it. So this is actually messages and there's movement here. Movement in a positive direction. Okay. Money. <laughs> That's always a good thing. And you're going to gain some kind of knowledge about this. So even if it's not all together here you're going to hear messages about it and there's definitely going to be movement towards money here in abundance yay virgo <laughs> i don't think i need to clarify anymore on that that's pretty clear to me and spirit saying you're deserving of it so go for it <laughs> go for it yeah guys let me know what's going on in the comments below i hope you guys like this new spread um also guys if you want me to uh, draw upon your own personal energies because remember these are general messages you can always get a personal reading with me by going to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or checking out the description box below and yes i still am releasing all the love readings that i always do for my monthlies the x returns the love coming uh what this person secretly wants you to know and all of my weeklies of course so watch out for that love you guys so much have a great month